Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. We're doing something a little different today. So we're going to go on a tour of Denham Springs and I'm going to show you exactly what it's like to live in this suburb of Baton Rouge. So we're actually going to fire up our Google map and we're going to go on a full tour and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the area. And we're getting into it right now. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ramos and this is Living in Louisiana. If it's your first time checking out the channel, then welcome. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell because I'm putting out videos just like this one every single week that are all about moving to and living in the greater Baton Rouge area. I am a licensed realtor in Louisiana and I wanna be your resource for all things real estate related. So if you have any specific questions or needs when it comes to making a move to South Louisiana, don't hesitate to reach out. All of my info is on your screen right now and I'm the guy that answers every single call, text, or email that comes through. And I love having these conversations with you guys, so let me know if there's anything I can help you with. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna get the map pulled up and we're gonna get started right now. All right guys, so here we are. Welcome to Denham Springs. So you can see um, the proximity to Baton Rouge uh, we're just outside of Baton Rouge. So if you leave Baton Rouge and you're driving east, you drive into Denham Springs. Um, and the highlighted area here is the kind of the city limits portion, but uh, the, the area actually spreads out a lot further than what you see here. But just to get an idea of how close it is to get into the city, if we were to look at the directions, um, let's see. We want to go from kind of middle of Denham Springs to Right here in Baton Rouge, which is around the downtown area, um, you can see it's, it says about a 24 minute drive right now. And this is um, we're not in a heavy traffic time right now. So this is kind of no traffic, you know, regular driving conditions, about 24 minutes to get into downtown Baton Rouge. And depending on where you're going, obviously, that can be more or less. But that's about what you're looking at. Now, if you're driving into work in the morning and during the heavy traffic times, you know, I'd probably add 20 or 25 minutes of that to just to make sure you get enough time to get where you're going because it can get pretty congested going into Baton Rouge in the morning. Same thing, leaving Baton Rouge in the evenings. So something to keep in mind. Um, but just to kind of look at the main roads that go through Denham Springs. So we have one interstate. So you have I-12 that cuts through kind of east to west. And then we also have U.S. Highway 190 that cuts through Florida Boulevard. And that will take you actually all the way straight into, if you follow it, into downtown Baton Rouge. Um, but the interstate, uh, it's just a short span, this I-12. It doesn't go uh, very far. You can see it splits off I-10 in Baton Rouge, and you follow it across, and it hits I-10 again in Slidell. And that's all of it. It's just a cut through that goes you know, from, high, from I-10 to I-10 when, when it cuts down into New Orleans and across. So just a little pass through to get through there. So you'll find a lot of like the, the truck traffic that's just passing through and not going to New Orleans it goes through here. So you know, there's lots of 18 wheelers that, that come through this road. It kind of, you know, blocks it up a little bit. So sometimes you can get places faster. Um, you know, sometimes you can get places faster than, than others because of all the truck traffic. Um, so the schools in Denham Springs, we'll, we'll see the, the main, like the high school is is right here on Highway 16. And let's just kind of show you. And this, this map's not completely up to date, but you got the high school here. And over here is a brand new turf uh, football stadium. And actually, they just opened it up and they had their first game recently. Uh, what you don't see on this map is there's also uh, new turf baseball and softball fields here on campus now. Um, so here you, you've also got the freshman high, um, just a little bit further south. You've got the elementary school, and right over here you got the junior high. So everything's kind of right together in this area. Now, it used to be the, before they built these, uh, and they're actually in the process of building them. I don't think they've started even using them yet, but this uh, baseball and softball field, they used to have to go over here to North Park. And, you know, the baseball would play here and softball would play here. Uh, but they didn't have a spot on campus to play. Uh, but that's all changing. That's, that's in the process of, you know, it's in, it's in the works now. Um, and then, of course, all over Denham Springs, you've got little smaller elementary schools and stuff that are all going to feed into these junior high and high schools. Um, 
what I do want to mention is kind of the Denham Springs area. It's you'll see it's it's not just this little city limits area here. It actually spreads out pretty far. Um, so you'll see if you go north to Watson, which is actually where I live right now, uh, that's actually Denham Springs, an unincorporated area, and it's it's a Denham Springs address, but it does fall into a different school district. Um, same thing when you come south. Um, all this area down here, um, even when you're getting into kind of Walker area. A lot of this down here, which is kind of considered Walker, has a Denham Springs address. Uh, also, actually used to live in this neighborhood right here, and we had a Denham Springs address, but our kids went to Walker schools. So it is something you do need to be careful of. Um, if you're moving to the area, if you're not familiar with it, uh, if you want your kids in a specific school, um, you can't just go by the address because, you know, it, it, it's tricked people that I know personally, and I'll kind of give you a quick story too, but, um, but this is where, you know, someone like me can come in and help. Um, if you want to be in a specific school, we can make sure we get you in the right area. But just as an example, someone I know, and this was a long time ago before I was even selling real estate. So I had no part of this, but, um, they wanted their kids in live Oak schools in Watson. So Watson's right here. Um, you know, a lot, all the live Oak schools are in this area right here. So they moved to, Katiana Place, thinking that they were in Live Oak Schools because it's kind of considered, you know, part of Watson. Well, turns out the cutoff line for the school was Amy Church Road. Anything north of this was Live Oak Schools. Anything south was Denham Schools. Their house fell right here in this area. So they were just outside the Live Oak School District and ended up in this house. And I did actually sell it for them and helped them find a house um, in the school district in this neighborhood right here. So they, they moved right down the street to get to the school district they wanted to be in. So it is something to be careful of and just something to keep in mind. Um, so talk a little bit about the shopping in Denham Springs. So, you know, obviously this is a smaller town. Um, it's the biggest city in Livingston Parish, but it's still kind of a small town too. So there's not a ton of options, but there are some. So just your typical grocery type stores, you do have, a Walmart right here in the middle of Denham. There is a, a Sam's Club uh, down here. There's a Bass Pro all right off the interstate. Um, if you're kind of into a little more antique type deal, there's the Antique Village right here. So you can see just this strip right here. There's, a, there's stores on both sides of the street. You could park alongside the street and there's sidewalks and it's all walkable and you can go to all these different shops and type stores. See if I can even get you a little street view. Just give you an idea of what it looks like. So, yeah, so you got these nice sidewalks on both sides of the street um, so that you can go hit all these shops up. So, that's all available. And then, like right now, they're, they're kind of gearing all, up for Christmas. So, we're getting close to Christmas time. So they do a lot of decorating through here to make it really nice um, and actually have this little train station right here that they go all out. So there's a lot of Christmas decorations and lights all throughout here. It's kind of cool to look at um, this time of year. And they also have like spring fest and fall fest and all type of different things, um, you know, events for the people who like this type of deal. Uh, now, if you're looking for something kind of a little newer, kind of a little more modern and kind of maybe a little more upscale -y. And then um, Juven Crossing right here is what you're going to be looking for. And it's a big kind of outdoor shopping center. Uh, it's got lots of different stores and shops, a uh, big grocery store. Um, and there's lots of restaurants. There's a lot of new development coming around this. Uh, this is fairly new. Um, there was a time actually when this exit didn't even exist. Uh, Juven Road would just kind of, it, went under an overpass and there was no way to get off right here, but they built these exits off the interstate and they've been building a lot around it ever since. So um, there's actually even some apartments up in here. You, you can live in this area. Um, lots of shopping, lots of restaurants. Uh, there's restaurants all around the circle and they're building a lot of new stuff across the street. Um, it's Hobby Lobby's new. All the stuff is new. Even these car dealerships, fairly new. Um, so one thing to watch for just right here is uh, they're building all this stuff up, right? But everything hasn't caught up around it yet. So uh, the traffic can get pretty bad. This is a two lane road right now going up to Florida Boulevard. Uh, it can get pretty backed up. 
certain times of the day, a lot of times of the day. Um, and it can also get pretty backed up coming from Denham, Florida, to get to Juban. It can be, you know, a bit of a, a chore to get through there. So just something to keep in mind. Leave yourself some time if you're coming anywhere in this area. Um, so that's that's kind of the – that's really all the, the big shopping options you have um, in Denham Springs, um, in which Juban Crossing is great. You know, it used to be – when you lived in Denham and you wanted to go do any kind of real shopping, you had to go into Baton Rouge and you had to go to the mall. But since they built this, it's kind of gave people in Denham the option to stay in Denham and not have to go to Baton Rouge for every little thing. So um, now in Denham, there are some parks available too. Like I said, not an abundance of, but there are a few options. So the first one is South Park down here. And this is, there's not a lot actually going on here. It's uh, a lot of, a lot of green space. There's a little playground area, um, some old tennis courts. Let me just drop you in here so you can just kind of see. Yeah, some yeah, a couple older tennis courts. There's a little small playground. Like I said there's big feel. I see people hitting golf balls out there, playing football, soccer, doing all kinds of different things. But there is a dog park over here too. So that is a good option who want to bring the dogs out and don't want to just necessarily let them run around the park. So then also kind of the bigger park of Denham Springs is over here at North Park, where like I said, Denham Springs High School used to play their baseball and softball games. Uh, there's, there's a little more going on in this park. So uh, you see there are lots of ball fields, it's the old baseball field there and the old softball field. And they've got, you know, the little fourplex here on softball. We've actually, my daughter's played in, softball tournaments here so they do have that type of thing uh there's they've redone a lot of these tennis courts um in the, the you know fairly recent past uh and these actually used to be basketball courts but they've converted to tennis courts now uh, but pretty big playground area over here a lot of room for kids to run around um you've got some walking trails down here um and one of the cool things here is especially with Louisiana being so hot most of the year. Um, so you do have the track and you got this, you know, RD3 fitness center, but you've got this right here. You got this PARDS fitness center and aqua aquatic center, sorry. Um, and it's aqua PARDS water park. So you see a little water park, you got a little lazy river, uh, water slides, play area for the kids. But um, also inside there's an, a pool and just kind of show you uh, what PARDS is. It's the parks and recreation of Denham Springs. They run, a lot of this stuff and a lot of the recreational leagues for, you know, kids, baseball, softball, uh, they have flag football, basketball, that type of thing. But they do have classes and everything that you can sign up to these fitness classes. Um, so they have some stuff that's available for kids and adults here. And let's see. And then there's one other small part that I will go ahead and mention also. Uh, let's play. I used to take my kids to this place a lot when they were, Younger, I think it was more for kind of smaller kids, but they used to love it, man. So they, there's a little park in here, uh, but this kind of a padded ground, um, so it's good for little kids. Some swing sets, big playground set, pavilions, um, and there's a little splash pad over here. So on those hot days, they used to to love coming out there. And those, I think that's. As, far as I know, there are some other little park options that show up on a map, but uh, I was just open, like this Willow Woods Park. It's just just an open field. Basically, there's not much there. Um, but those are the the main parks that you'll find at Denham Springs. Then, if you're a golfer, right, there's a couple options also. Is it also used to be that if you wanted to play much golf, you had to go to Baton Rouge or somewhere outside of Denham Springs because there wasn't many options where they used to they used to have a Driving range at North Park, they've closed it down um, since then. But you do have the the Pines at North Park right here near North Park. Uh, and this was formerly the Denham Springs Country Club. Uh, but this is like a place, you know, it's, it's good to go to if you just want to go hit the ball around, right? It's not the nicest course. Um, some of the greens need work, but they're actually working on them. Uh, it's getting better and better as time goes. But, um, you know, it's not like a super nice course right now. So it's just a little nine-hole course. They have different tournament type things. They sell beer. It's just kind of a, you know, just a fun little place to go hang out. But if you're looking for some more serious golf, then you're probably going to want to go to 
Greystone. So let me show you where that's at. Um, it's off of Wax Road, and it's in Greystone subdivision. So this is a golf course community, super nice houses. It's getting higher end. Matter of fact, the most expensive we have, the most expensive listing we have in Denham Springs is right now. It's located in Greystone, and I'll show you that at the end, actually. You know, if you want to see what that looks like, just kind of show you what, you know, almost $1.2 million will get you in Denham Springs. But for now, let's talk about the, the golf course and what they got here. So this is a country club, right? And you do have the option to join the country club, but it's not required to play golf. It's, it's open to the public. So you can just come play around, but uh, just the facilities are really nice here. So you've got a um, pro shop here in the front. There's a restaurant a bar and then back here, this um, there's an area you can rent for weddings and things like that. Uh, this big swimming pool, tennis courts, playground, uh, just really nice facility. Um, the driving range here. Um, so if you want to get out and hit some balls before you play or just come out to practice, there is a driving range available. And then, of course, you got an 18-hole course. Like I said, super nice course that they take really good care of that just is spread throughout the subdivision. Um, just kind of side note. Uh, one thing, cool thing that I found out about the, uh, the restaurant here is they actually do free delivery, uh, for the neighborhood. Um, so for food delivery, you can order food and there's no delivery charge or anything like that. They'll bring it to your house. And also found out that this is not part of Greystone, but this, this is a new subdivision they're building just down the street called South Creek, um, like I said, it's, it's so new that it's not even really showing up on the map yet other than the streets. Uh, there's a big lake back here. Uh, it's going to be a nice little neighborhood. Alvarez Construction is building it, and they build pretty nice houses. But uh, they're actually doing food delivery to this neighborhood also for free. So anywhere in Greystone or anywhere in South Creek, you can get food delivered from the restaurant at Greystone uh, with no fee. All right, so other than golf, let's well, get into – a little more of what there is to do in Denham Springs. So again, not a real big city. Um, you know, it's close to Baton Rouge and there's a lot to do in Baton Rouge, but there are some things to do as far as entertainment goes in Denham Springs if you don't necessarily want to make the drive to Baton Rouge. So uh, just we'll start out with stuff, you know, kind of for some of the kids, uh, just because I have 13 to 14 year old daughters. So I know the places they like to go. So I can tell you a little bit about those. Uh, but there's a couple trampoline parks. Uh, you got Airborne Extreme up here that's close to um, Florida Boulevard. And then down closer to the interstate by Bass Pro, there is another one called Urban Air Trampoline Park. So my, both my kids love both of these places. Um, another thing they really like to do, um, I don't understand why so much, but uh, one of their favorite places to go is this uh called Mr. Gaddy's Pizza. I think they just changed the name to Gaddy's only recently, but it's just, it's a pizza buffet. So they like to go there and eat. And then there's just a little arcade in the back where, you know, you play games, you get tickets, you use the tickets to get prizes, that type of things. Um, they love it. I'd say it's better for the little kids, but mine are 13 and 14 and they still love to go. So um, then like, if you look, just looking for a movie theater, the one we have in Denham Springs is over in Juven Crossing. So you've got the movie tavern here. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with movie tavern, it's kind of like they got the big reclining, comfortable seats. They bring your food and drinks to you in the theater, that type of deal. So that's fun kind of night out type of deal. Um, you know, as far as just like bars go, there's not a ton of just standalone bars and, you know, no club type places really to go. And then in Springs, you'll have to go to Baton Rouge for a lot of that. But there are a bunch of restaurants that have um, cool bars in them. Like if you just want to go somewhere and hang out, something a little more low key, uh, but just, you know, some of them are going to be right here in Juven Crossing also. It's this Pedro's Tacos Tiva Bar. It's a fairly new one. Uh, Walk-Ons is one of my favorites. They've got a big bar. Uh, it's a fun place to hang out, especially if you're going to watch a game or something like that. Um, across the street, there's a, a new daiquiri shop. Pretty cool look, looking stuff. Uh, so that's kind of a standalone bar and on, Daiquiri shop, and there is a drive through uh, if you just if you don't even want to get out. So there's some options right there in Juven Crossing. And then there are some more. If you come back over here to the main part of Denham, over here by this Bass Pro area, of course, you've got the Hooters, which, of course, there's a bar. It's always a fun place to watch game and 
drink a big beer. Um, there's, there's this new place too. I hadn't even been to it yet. I want to check this out. It's Buzz Bowl Creamery. So apparently you can go get some, you know, ice cream that's spiked with a little alcohol is from my understanding. Uh, so I'm kind of want to go check that one out. Um, but yeah, there's some um, few places. Jaeger's has a, a good bar. Uh, that's like, it's a restaurant, but they do have a separate bar. And one of my favorites that I really liked, uh, so this place Peebo's. This has always been one of my favorite restaurants in Denham Spring. Well, they shut it down for a while and they remodeled the place completely. Had an awesome outdoor area with a bar. Uh, but the bar actually uh, was kind of split between the inside and outside. So you could pick and choose you know, where you wanted to sit. Um, so they just opened back up. We were just starting to go back. And uh, apparently there was a fire recently. So now they're temporarily closed. Hopefully they kind of remodel again and, and come back strong. But that's one of my, you know, one of the places that I'm going to go to places around here to, to eat and hang out. Uh, another one, it, right up the street, up range a little bit, is Big Mike's. And this, this place was actually on uh, the, the bar rescue show at some point. So after the 2016 flood, uh, you know, the, the show came in, kind of helped this place get back up and going again. But it's a cool place, too. So I like their food. Their food is, like we, we eat here all the time. Uh, but there's so but there is a separate bar that's separated from the restaurant. And there's also a third section, too, that's that's like a bar kind of more. This is more of the level where they have live music and things like that. More more of like a standalone bar type of place. But it's all in the same building. So uh, that's another good place to hang out. That's one of my go-tos. And it's actually nice because it's right by my office. Actually, my office right now is right here. So it's right behind Big Mike. So convenient, fun place to hang out. Um, and then another good option. This is something still fairly new to the area. Uh, you know, we, don't, we haven't had a lot of microbrewery type situations here. That's something you usually would have to go to Baton Rouge for. But uh, a couple years ago, this place opened up, uh, La Chien. So it's, it's a little microbrewery. Uh, I'll just kind of show you. It took like an old kind of main, car maintenance shop type of place and remodeled it. So it's kind of a little more a little more modern looking now, kind of cooler looking place. Uh, but you can see here in the, in the back, there's a outdoor area to hang out to. So they got this covered area, lots of picnic tables out there. Place is dog friendly. Uh, matter of fact, I believe the name is French for the dog. Uh, they got this food truck, so you can get something to eat. But and they do all kind of things here: the yoga and trivia nights and all kind of things. Things where you can bring your dogs. Um, it's a fun place to to hang out too. So that's a kind of cool one. Uh, and then a couple other new things to the area that I'll just mention. Um, so apparently, you know, axe throwing is getting to be. Uh, all the rage these days. So there is this place, and I don't think this is so new to it's not going to show up on a map, but uh, called Minor League Pub here. And that's kind of the restaurant part that was actually in this building here. But in this building, now it's called the gym. And just kind of show you what you'd be looking for. It looks different right now, but this is the building. So it's called the gym. It's got the name up there. Uh, you know, they've done a little refurbishing and got it ready to go but so they have the restaurant which the pub this minor league pub so they got the food there so there's a, a bar with lots of beers on tap they've got probably the best um, smash burgers in denim springs in my opinion here um uh, but they've got axe throwing they've got a golf simulator they've got uh lots of cornhole set up so a lot of cool stuff going on here this is um Kind of nice that, you know, there's a place like this to hang out at in Denham because there wasn't, especially kind of this far north up in, in Denham, there wasn't not a lot to do. So that's kind of nice. And there's also um, a billiards place, it's Billiards Brothers, that has pool tables and everything set up. But they're also doing a lot of cornhole tournaments and things right now. So another cool little place to hang out. And on the axe throwing thing, because like I said, it's, again, brand new. actually didn't even realize it was quite open yet, but apparently they just opened up. There's Deep South, deep south Axe Throwing here also um, on Florida Boulevard right before you get into Baton Rouge. So, so there are some things to do here in Denham. Um, not, obviously not as much as there is in Baton Rouge, but you know, if, if you want to stay in town, there are some things that can kind of keep you busy and keep you entertained. Um, 
And I guess the last thing we'll talk about is kind of the, like that, some of the housing options in Denham Springs. So um, they're one of the good things about the area is that it's affordable. There are plenty of, you know, affordable neighborhoods to live in. And I'll actually jump into the MLS just to kind of show you what I'm seeing. So when I ran a search and I did all of Denham Springs, which includes all that Watson area, includes a lot of the stuff that's technically in Walker School District, but with the Denham address, um, all that stuff is included here. But when I'm looking at all detached single family houses in Denham Springs, uh, there are 282 listings right now that are active. Um, and they go anywhere from $65,000 up to $1.2 million. Now, a lot of this stuff under $200,000. Some of it's going to be, you know, just smaller houses that are livable and affordable. Some of them may need flood insurance. Some of them may not. Um, but when you get into these cheap, cheapest ones, you're going to be looking at, you know, these are foreclosure type houses, need a lot of work. Stuff that's not going to, you know, get approved for any traditional you know, owner occupant financing. Uh, but when you're getting up into the hundred, you know, upper hundreds, almost up to 2000, there are some options there. If you need something and you're on a budget, there are some options there, not a ton, but, but actually there are a lot of, listen, when you start at 200 and you actually move this out the way, between 200, $300,000, you got a lot of options. So if you start out at the 17th listing there and you go all the way down, I've got it marked to make it easier to find. But between 200 and 300,000, there are a lot of listings. So, and I kind of find that, you know, when I first started doing this, I mean, I seemed like the first time home buyer price point was about $150,000, between 150 and 200,000. Well, now it seems that's, you know, kind of closer to the mid 200s, you know, maybe a little less, but it seems like that's more of the first time home buyer price point that, that I get these days. Uh, but you see, there are a lot of options. There are a lot of new construction neighborhoods, a lot of existing homes for sale. Um, so if you need something, you know, less than $300,000, shouldn't have a problem finding you a house these days. Now that the market's not so crazy and, you know, houses are starting to sit a little bit longer, you know, we can probably find you a good deal. You get the seller to help out with some closing costs, get your interest rate down, all that type of stuff. And even between three and four hundred thousand, there are a good number of options. Um, this tends to be, you know, the the price point that I've been working the most lately is because it's what people tend to be looking for. Uh, but you see, there are a good bit of options, uh, up to four hundred thousand dollars, and even between four and five. Uh, so we start here at four hundred thousand dollars, and uh, so we'll find some of that stuff in the upper threes and these fours. That South Creek I was talking about near Greystone. Some of those, and they've got this new neighborhood, the Ivy. I have some really nice new construction in it. And you're going to be getting this price range between four and five. Uh, but you see, but here in Denham, now this is because once you get over 500,000, the choices get to be a lot fewer. There are not near as many listings above 500,000 um, as there are up to 400. So there are some options, and some of these are going to be in Denham, some are in Watson. Um, but just to kind of, and I mentioned earlier, the one in Greystone. So the most expensive listing we have, I'm not counting this 1.2 million. This is like an old church or something. This should be more commercial to me than anything. I don't know why that's listed in our single family home section, but um, but there is this listing in Greystone for 1.175. Right now, my buddy Chase has this house listed. This thing is just super nice. Just to kind of show you what you can get in Greystone for this price point. Uh, you're looking at you know over 4,300 square feet. Uh, it's a four bedroom, four and a half bath one and a half story house. Now, let's see, and just, just running through the pictures. Now there are a lot, so I'll kind of make it quick. Uh, there are 49 photos in here, just but just want to show you what you can get. And I, I love this property, this whole thing. So, super nice kitchen, everything's just a lot of light coming through. Um, I'm in the, actually in the process of building a house myself right now. And that's the, one of the big things I wanted was a lot of natural light. Everything's super nice. Outdoor area, obviously my favorite. Really nice bathrooms, but for 1.175 million around here, you know, this is about as good as it gets in Denham Springs.
Yeah, so this is my favorite. When we get out to the patio in this pool area, I can live out here and it's set up for it. So super nice patio, super nice pool with a hot tub. Nice fire pit area. Well, if there's something you'd be interested in, it's been on the market for a little while. So I'm just out of curiosity, I guess, while I'm recording this. It's not to be doing this, but just kind of see where they were at. Yeah, so they originally started at 1.295 million uh, in May. And they're at 1.175 now. And I bet they're negotiable. So uh, if, some, if you might be interested in a house like this, then give me a call. Let's get it. Let's get it going. Um, so that's that's it. That's kind of the tour. That's kind of everything I can think of to tell you about living in Denham Springs. So I hope this helped really give you an idea of what it's like to live in Denham Springs just outside of Baton Rouge. If there's anything at all I can help you guys with, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm a licensed realtor in Louisiana. And as much as I love making these videos for you guys, what I really love is to help you with your real estate needs. So that number that's popping up on your screen right now, you can reach me at any time, days, nights, or weekends. I'm the one that replies to every single call, text, or email that comes through. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of these future videos that I'm putting out every week all about moving to and living in the greater Baton Rouge area. So that's it for now. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you on the next one.